name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do another project vlog. I've decided that I really need to refresh my living room. I painted it about three months ago and I hate the color. So I'm going to pretty much change a lot of things in here and I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you're on for notifications and that you like this video. So I'm not even going to clean up in here before I film this because I'm gonna change everything. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly the state of my living room right now <laughs> and what it looks like so that you can definitely see the change after. Um, we have a, a ladder right there because my husband just finished hanging this molding up here. It's not crown molding. Uh, but it is molding and I love it. It's very simple. It's not too decorative, which is exactly what I wanted. So I have to go back and caulk and uh, paint that, but I'm also gonna paint these walls. I just painted them back in June and I'm not super happy with this color. So um, you'll have to see what I do with that. I'm really excited about the color that I'm painting it. This is my couch. <laughs> Can you tell it's very loved? Um, I am going to do a separate video on how to clean this and um, washing the covers, so I'm just going to leave it alone for now, um, but I think the paint color will go really well with this couch and the chair and the rug, just to give you a hint. Also, it's starting to get cold outside, so I have to pull all my plants in, but I think this is going to look so good in here over the winter. I've had it out of my balcony since the spring, um, and it got a little cold the other night. It got a little, a little cold on the edges here, so hopefully we can keep her alive. <laughs> and this is my jasmine plant, which I have a love-hate relationship with, but I love it. But I hate it because it's hard to take care of. But I love it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna caulk the uh, molding at the ceiling before I paint. And I wanna paint these back walls because when I painted them, I painted them with like a super white. It's a little translucent. I can still see the, the walls underneath were like, like blue as this ladder. So I can still see a little tint of that. So I'm gonna repaint this and um, then I'll start painting the rest of the room. Okay, let me show you guys the difference between the uncocked molding. And I told my husband, don't worry about the edges because I'll fill it in with wood filler and caulk and then paint it. So that's why it looks so crazy right there. And then once it's caulked, it looks so clean. So that corner is caulked and obviously I will paint over it. Okay, this is honestly the current state of my living room. It is so scary. <sighs> That's a lot of crap. Okay, so now that I've painted the back walls behind the shelving, I can get to the fun part and I chose Navel by Sherwin Williams to paint the rest of the living room and also behind the mantle. So I'm really excited. I think this is going to look really good against my white couch, some of the brown leather that's in here and the wood. Um, I think this is originally what I wanted to paint the living room, but I was scared. I, my heart was definitely saying navy blue and I just wasn't listening. I, I went with something that I felt was darker but was safe and now I am going to go bold. So I'm excited. I finally finished painting. I feel like it took me, I mean, literally it was between work and painting. It was like a full week that it took me to finally get this done, but it's done and it looks amazing. And today I get to go ahead and put everything back on the shelves, which I've really been wanting to do because the clutter in here from what was on the shelves is insane. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and start redecorating these and probably just 
decluttering some of this stuff. Not everything needs to be on these shelves. And uh, so yeah, I get to do the fun part, finally. Okay, shelves are mostly done. I still have some spaces to fill, but I'm just not 100% sure what I want to put there. But they definitely look cleaner and just simpler than they did before. So now I have the other side of the room to deal with, which is crazy. It'll be nice to have the living room back together. This has just been like a very long project. But this is where the fun starts happening. Well, I think I said that about the bookshelves. There's a lot of fun things with this. I've gotten most of the hard work out of the way, so now I get to like put everything back together and decorate, and I have some ideas for the corners and the walls in here. Um, but uh, I am pregnant, so moving things around is such a task now, um, but I can do it. tip um, if you have ever decluttered a room or tried to get rid of um, just stuff you don't need or um, you know seasonal organizing decluttering in general the best advice I can give you is to get rid of everything out of that area that room wherever it is that you're trying to declutter or organize take it all out put it somewhere else and then slowly put everything back that you want to use in that space or that room um, I did it with my closet. I've done it with most of the rooms and, and areas in my house and I learned it from the book, The Art of Tidying Up. It's called the KonMari Method and it really helped me separate my emotions from things, things that I have that I don't need, that I don't use, that I've kept because I feel badly, because I feel like one day I might regret it or whatever the reason is. It really has helped me deal with all of that and I end up with a space or a room that I'm really happy with because it only contains things that I like love and use so just a quick tip if you haven't read that book I highly recommend it that's how I did um, this entire room like with the bookshelves I took everything off and put it somewhere else and then only put back the things that I wanted to be on the bookshelf and then the same thing with the rest of the room everything is completely decluttered now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on this table. I had a tray there and I feel like it looks really good without one, but if I see something while I'm out searching for other items for this room that would go there, then I'm definitely going to put a tray right in the middle. This wall definitely needs stuff on it, so that's a huge, huge project or huge part of this project. Up here in this corner, I want to do a some macrame hanging lights, so stay tuned for that. I will show that in this video, but it's probably going to be a separate video on exactly how to make them. And then in this corner, I'm thinking I want to hang some um, hanging plants and have some uh, macrame plant hangers there. These are the two plants I think I want to use. I have one other. I'm just going to see how they look once they're hanging. And then I want to get two lanterns that match that can go right in front of the mantle, especially for the holidays. So I'm on the hunt for that. I'm on the hunt for a couple more things for the shelves. If you have any suggestions for electronic solutions, it's not for today, but eventually I'd really like to make that area look better without adding a cabinet. Oh my God, look how cute this is. I don't know what I could use it for, but it's adorable. Okay, so my first stop was Home Goods, and it was a bit of a bust. I didn't find anything except for a throw pillow, which I've actually been looking for something like this because West Elm had one for like $60. 
and I was not going to pay that much, but I found one that looks almost identical to it and it was only 20 so that was a good deal. Um, I think the next place I'm going to stop is Target and I think I'm going to try Home Goods again, but I'm going to try a different location and I'm going to try tomorrow. But we'll see what we find. Okay, definitely had more luck at Target than I did at, where was I? Home Goods. But um, I spent way too much money. <laughs> but I found some lanterns that I really like. They're brand new from Magnolia and they're very unique. So I'm excited about those and a couple things for the shelves. Um, I will say I'm super grateful to have Target, to live in America and to be able to just go to Target whenever I feel like it. But I could not work at the front end there because literally every time someone gets a cart, it is like, bam, like you hear the child seat like snap open or smack open on the previous cart. And it is so loud and it happens every five to 15 seconds and I would lose my freaking mind in there. In fact, I was losing my mind a little while I was shopping through the like front, like little dollar cheap section that they have. And I was like, I gotta get out of here. Um, but yeah, so Target was a success and I think I'm gonna actually go to Hobby Lobby now, see what they have. I need a hot glue gun for one of the projects I'm gonna do in the living room. And I'm gonna check out the other home goods that's near me tomorrow. Uh, when I have a little more time and um, I think they actually stock either like Wednesday night or Thursday early. So that might be a good time for me to go. Maybe they'll have some new stuff. Okay guys, so I finally wrapped this project up and I'm really happy. The only thing I didn't do was hang pictures and honestly like I have a pile <laughs> of things I want to put there but I really don't want to rush that process and I want to be exactly sure of how I want everything to be on the wall and I really need to wrap this up because it's been like two weeks I've been working on this project in here so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a separate video on how I do my gallery wall in my in my living room and for now we'll just have to uh, deal with the blank space um, but it won't say that like that for very long so let me show you what I ended up with in here okay guys so here is the living room completely done minus wall decor um, I'm just gonna start in the middle of the room. This table is from Restoration Hardware. We got it custom made um, sometime last year. It's heavy as crap and it's gorgeous. Definitely an heirloom piece. I just went ahead and put our wedding album on top and then a book from the Biltmore. If you haven't been there in Asheville, North Carolina, it's gorgeous. We got married there, I love it. Um, that is some eucalyptus with just some pumpkins around it. It is still technically fall, so I'm not ready to decorate for Christmas just yet. This is kind of an in-between situation we've got going on here. So over here we have the bookshelves, which I am loving. They're much cleaner, much more organized than they were before. Here's some of the little houses I got from Target. I found some in my last project video, and then I found some more in this one. This garland I got from Target as well. It's part of the Hearth and Hand collection. It's actually two, so it's one and then one on that side. Um, they're only six feet long. I recommend that if you have a standard size mantle that you get two. Just a little piece of macrame behind it, some pumpkins, and then I got a basket, which clearly needs a few more blankets in there, but <laughs> we'll work on that. Um, one lantern, I actually bought two but I decided to take one back and I wanna get a taller one to go next to it. That one's about 15 inches tall, but I need one just a little bit taller than that just to go behind. I think that would look really cute. Little, little more houses. And then this is from the Hearth and Hand collection as well. I love that. Um, some throw pillows from Home Goods. Some more throw pillow, well, floor pillows, I should say, for people to sit on. From Target, those are part of the Hearth and Hand collection. I put my little blanket ladder over here. I need to put a picture above that. And then over here on this wall, which is mostly blank for now, I put my plant hangers up here. I actually wanna replace this one at some point and put it one that's like in the middle, like a little lower. 
but that was all I had for now. Um, this is a pothos, not sure what this is, and that's a banana plant. This little table we had in our bedroom, and then when I made the nightstands, I replaced it, and it really does belong next to a sofa, because you can see it goes underneath it. Super cute. Just put a little uh, glass lantern on top with some air plants inside of it. And then this is the pillow I got from Home Goods that is a third of the price they have at West Elm. This pillow is from Target. This pillow is from Home Goods recently too. I thought those went really well together with the navy behind it. Um, as I might have mentioned before, our couch is from West Elm. It's the Harmony sofa. I love it. Then over here, I have a side table from World Market, which I'm absolutely love I need to decorate a little bit better but for now I just put a plant and some more pumpkins around it our leather chair is from West Restoration Hardware as well I just put a throw pillow and a throw blanket behind it our fiddle leaf fig that I brought indoors from the cold is in here now and I love it and then this is our hanging light that I made it's macrame all the way around I am making a tutorial for it so I will link that below in the description box it is amazing. I want to have one more right next to it. And then once I have things on the walls, can you guys picture it? Okay. <laughs> it will all come together. Um, and then one last thing I get asked about my rug a lot. This is actually from Amazon and it's not at all, did not come looking at all like what I thought it would look like. It's much different than the picture, but I am working with it and <laughs> I think the navy walls go really, really well with it. And once I get some stuff up, it will all come together. So anyway, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching it. I hope you are enjoying these vlog style videos. I really am enjoying making them. Like I said in my last one, the process is just a little more organic and it feels a little more fun to make. So anyway, uh, I will see you guys on my next project. Bye.